What's going on? Tectonic at your plants more mono green Tron and you know what? I'll keep that. Uh, you can see the main board surgical extraction there. That is the attempt to hopefully keep some of the more degenerate decks that are running the meta right now. Uro, Omnath, uh, Tybalt under control which have now kind of made their way into one single big deck. But yeah, no, we've got an Ancient Stirrings, a little bit of answers, a little bit of threats. We'll see what we can do with this. Flooded Strand. All right, we may actually have a matchup where we can test this out on, too. Double Surgical. I do enjoy Double Surgical. That gives us a free one to look at their hand. All right, they kept a, or played a one lander and didn't draw a land. Well, we're gonna go for Tron. We're gonna get Tron. And we're going to wonder how insane the hand is if you kept it and on a one lander. I'm curious enough to find out. Ah, Renin Six. Yeah, that would have been good. They need to top deck a land really hard here. And that is the scoop to the surgical extraction. Very nice. Well, we know what we're up against, which makes this a little easy. Bring a few of these in. Bring a few of these in. Bring some of these out. All this dust is tempting because it does have applications. Do we want to run it like? No, we'd rather have this and one less O stone. Yeah, we'll give this a shot. They are now aware of surgical extraction. That was a risky keep on their part. But taking them down land seemed effective. It would So they need one more land to go off though. Because then they could grow spiral. They could they use that Renin 6 to start putting lands back in and out. And hopefully we get a good hand here. Double Tron, or Tron plus Pithing Needle. That's going to be a keep. And if we can top deck a power plant, we cannot. All right. We're going to go for Tron. Unless they do Renin 6. If they play Renin 6 this next turn, I think I lock that down. No run in six, so we'll keep going. Grow spiral, grow spiral. Arrow. Uh, 
grab a power plant. Second power plant, nice. Just reinforced, right? We'll do a flooded strand. All right, do they have the answer for this? Oh, it's a mana leak. Well, that's pretty good. I did not prepare for, I could have played that first and I uh, did not think about mana leak. Ooh. Useful there. Very lucky we drew another power plant. Second arrow. Second arrow. Two cards in hand. We know what their next move is going to be. We know what our next move is going to be. Let's take a look at that hand. Goodbye, Omnath. All right, so we're just gonna have to contend with their top deck. We know they have a force of negation in hand. A hey, flooded strand. All right, they're gonna escape the arrow. We're gonna get the Ulamog. We're gonna get rid of that field of the dead. They could get another land here, another zombie. But I think we're in a good spot. Oh, they did get another land. So that's going to be three zombies. Goodbye, Uro. Goodbye, Field of the Dead. We know the one card in their hand is a Force of Negation. We don't attack here because we know what happens if we do. To Fury, interesting. They're going to bounce the Thought Not Seer, draw a card. Oh, 
Oh, it's Big Teferi. Okay, uh, hopefully we draw a land. We draw a land. Take that Ulamog. Any order. And they're going to scoop up to that. All right, so Pithing Needle and uh, Surgical Extraction uh, seem very helpful in this matchup. Um, we're still a little bit of a game, but... Uh, lit you know, in a deck that uses these lands to put a bunch of lands out, get zombies and Omnath triggers, sh shutting them down seems pretty effective, and it's a worthless land. Um, you got to, of course, name the right one. So a little bit of a gamble there. In fact, I had two helped. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Tectonic Edge here, signing out.